60,000 workers is a significant number. And in an economy that's staggering, lumbering along, trying to find its footing, I think Southern California was very fortunate that we were able to avert the strike. I think both sides recognize that the stakes were high. Uh, for the workers, there's a lot of unemployment out there right now. It would not have um, played well for them to go on strike in a time when there's high unemployment. And for the grocery store chains as well, they're hurting economically. They've lost a lot of market share in Southern California. And for them, they needed to settle too. So I think both sides knew that it was in their best interest to make sure this got hammered out before there was a work stoppage. I think the clear winner is the Southern California economy. With a work stoppage, grocery stores being closed, workers out of work, we would have had a significant challenge here in, in SoCal. And so I think the winner is the Southern California economy. Now there are some other grocery store chains that would have been happy to see a strike, or specialty retailers, Target, uh, Fresh and Easy, Trader Joe's, Stater Brothers, those sorts of places would have benefited from a strike. But overall, we're much better that they settle their differences. Grocery stores face a challenging environment for years to come. Their competition is mostly non-unionized. They have to pay more for their labor than other stores and chains, and consumers now are more price sensitive than ever. So it's gonna be challenging in the years ahead for the grocery stores to continue to remain competitive with the unionized labor force. So I wouldn't be surprised to see us in the same place a few years from now. I think unions have a battle ahead for them. Uh, unions were very relevant and important in the 20th century in an industrial economy, but now that we're mainly a service-based economy, it's much more challenging for them to remain viable. And I think this is uh, one example of the challenges that they'll face in the years ahead to remain uh, uh, a significant part of the U.S. economy. Mm -hmm.